Ichi. Atomic seas. It's a good day. It is something around 11 o'clock in the a.m. on Thursday, my favorite day of the week, the 13th of July, 2023, in the latter part of the lunar cycle of Misamso, the long rains. I am headed right now toward that beaver trap that I set up in the last video. Uh, it's been there, I guess, seven nights now, because I think the last video I made was on a Thursday. And it hasn't, it hasn't hit. The beaver's still around, it hasn't bothered the trap. I've refreshed the bait once. Um, but, you know, for me to keep driving out this way and refresh the bait every day, it's, it's too expensive for the job. So um, I decided today to try something different. I picked up my large box trap from uh, a client who was trying to use it for a porcupine for the last few months and uh, I think the porcupine has gone but anyway I'm going to take the box trap and set it up to catch the beaver maybe I can lure the beaver into the box trap uh, underneath one of the trees there easier than I can lure him onto that clam trap I don't know but that's what we're going to try uh, what else got to climb up onto the raccoon roof that I shored up in my last video as well because the raccoon went and ripped some of the soffit out um, I went in, I don't I don't think he got in behind my mesh, but he might have. There was just a, a little gap that he's, he, I can tell he's pulled on. Um, but I don't think he got up there. In any case, I've reset the soffit and set some newspaper back in behind there. If it looks disrupted, then he's probably still there. I'm going to have to put the one-way door back on. But if it hasn't been disrupted, I'm just going to shore things up a little tighter. And uh, hopefully that'll be the end of that job. Uh, what else is going on? Not enough. I'm not making enough money. And, oh, yeah, I haven't done my video about this topic yet. I have a, I have a, a big bomb to drop. Well, a big, a big bomb was dropped on me, I should say, Tuesday morning. Um, I was so happy. Monday, finally after you know seven straight days of nothing but cleaning morning to night i finally cleaned and cleared enough on the main floor and upper floor of my house that brit and i could move in and occupy and we did that on monday and in fact uh kobe and jolie um it's brit's brother and sister-in-law are moving in with us they're moving in in the basement but they already came in and we just set up a bed bed for them in the sunken living room for now and so we were all there Monday and we were you know having a good time and I, I really was you know elated at, uh, at what was happening because I know it's gonna work um, the the bills for the house are gonna be even less than they were at my duplex because I have a renter everything's gonna play out okay and maybe I'll be able to get a little bit ahead you know get, start gaining some headway on my uh, on taking down my debt so I was feeling really good on Monday night uh, probably probably the best I've felt psychologically in years and then Tuesday morning that all was smashed to shit because I got a uh, I got a phone call from a financial institution now a couple of years ago Mahoney was having financial problems and she had spread herself too thin with you know too many different debts and so she went to go see this financial agency here in town and they offered her a loan to bring it all together um, you know the consolidation type of a loan pay off her, her debts and some of her bills and stuff that she was behind on and I don't even know how much it was for but she, at the time, you know, she wanted to use the house as security for the loan. And I, I allowed it because um, I considered it her house, right? She was the, our, our deal was she was going to take the house. She was going to pay for it. And it would be her house. If she couldn't pay for it, then, yeah, I would take over the house, which is what's happened. But um, any case... I considered it her house, so 
I figured why, you know, why shouldn't she take a, a, a loan um, if she can handle the loan and all of that, and that's going to help her financial situation. So I went in and, and signed for her to give her permission to do that because I'm on the title of the house too. So come Tuesday morning, you know, two, not two nights ago, two sleeps ago, um, I get a call from that financial institution and they say, uh, we'd like to talk to you about setting up the arrangement for you to make the payments now. And I was like, what? And uh, apparently she's told them that I'm going to take over the payments of her loan, which I told them that's news to me. I've, I've never, I've never heard anything about that, but <laughs> that's what she told them. And then I messaged her and I was like, what the, what the heck? And uh, she's like, well, if you're taking the house, you might as well have the, the debts to go with it. Now that's bullshit because those are, that, that is hers. That, that has nothing to do with the house. She didn't buy any assets for the house with that or anything like that. Um, she just, she just consolidated some of her debts and some of her bills. So that debt is hers, but she is trying to heist it and stick it on me. And right now I've got no choice but to pay it for the, for the short term because, um, you know, if I don't, they might be able to force the sale of the house or something, you know, I, I, I don't want to get behind if, if that money is going to be on me, uh, for a little while here until I get legal things sorted out, then I don't want to get, get behind in that, uh, and start off with a, with a big monkey on my back, although it is already a big monkey. My understanding is that the that the monthly payment is 700 something dollars, which is way more than I can afford. I've already got my own 900 something minimum payment on my on my MasterCard, and I got the mortgage. I can't do her $700 loan as well, and I shouldn't have to. That's her loan. So I know that she's kind of thinking of it like, well, I'm walking away from the house now, so that's my payout. You pay my loan. If I could, I would. And that would be her payoff, and we'd be done. But I don't have that money. I don't have that money. So I don't know what's going to happen. I either have to figure out a way to like refinance the house under my own name and, and pay off her loan. Um... Or I've got to uh, get a judge to force her to pay her loan. I have to go get some legal advice, like pronto. I need to call today and, and make an appointment. Uh, I know there's a, a, a government organization that gives, I think, a free 30 minutes of uh, meeting for legal advice. So I, I gotta go look into that. But right now, my psychological state is a bust, uh, big time because of this this bomb. It really like shattered my world. I was I was so enjoying my house, and you know, and now like this morning, instead of waking up with that good feeling of you know, I've got a fresh start, a renewal on lease on life kind of thing. Instead of starting with that, I wake up into panic and because I'm realizing the situation that I'm under and, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. You know, you only make so much money moving skunks and raccoons and rattlesnakes. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, that's the news. <laughs> we are almost to the beaver pond now. Let's uh, check out the scene there. So I'll show you what's going on here. I've reset the clam trap. He did take my bait, my other bait. Um, he didn't take the first bait, the willow, but he did take the, the fresh bait that I put in and ate it all. Um, but I could see he's been coming up here. There's a groove he's worn. There's some logs that he's chewed the bark out of. So I'm hoping that he'll come here and uh, get caught in the clam trap but I've also set up uh, 
as a secondary means the big box trap and I set that up over here underneath a poplar tree um, the first place that I seen him sitting up and eating the night that we were here setting it up last week so I'll show you that trap we do have a snake call to go to um, that I received just as I was setting up that clam trap the snake is um, way off in Paradise Canyon of course furthest point out look at what he's done already eh? knocking down these trees so I've, I've positioned a trap right here both of them have beaver musk and uh, poplar bait so we'll see I can catch this beaver yet catch him yet Howdy. It was giving us a warning. It's the garter snake. Mm -hmm. Is that a camera? Yeah. To watch him? Yeah, where's he? Oh, there he is. Gotcha, gotcha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Wandering garter snake. Mm -hmm. I see its head. And you're not on the loan, right? You're not the co borrower? I didn't co borrow, but I, I believe I gave her permission to use the house as security, and now I live in the house and she's not paying her loan. <laughs> Oh, you were the one speaking to me. Okay. I think so, because, yeah, she told me to call you, and have you spoke to her? Um, um, yeah, I, I, talked, I talked to her until she called the police on me and told them I was harassing her. Now now she's cut off contact. I can't, uh, She, I, I'm only going to be able to talk to her legally, I think, through through her lawyers and stuff. Um so oh, I, I'm not okay. even I'm not even sure step one of what I have to do to to deal with this, but um, but I don't want there to be like um, you know I, I don't want to uh, be a bunch of money accruing on the side that I'm going to end up yeah. having to pay anyway. So I'm I'm wondering you know I, I should probably set up a meeting to come and talk to you and <laughs> so. $35,000 is what she owes and she's got another eight years of payments at $765 a, a month to pay that off and she's trying to push that on me that's some messed up messed up stuff I don't know if the snake who was living here is still living here I haven't seen him for a little bit garter snake go here all right we've got a skunk trap to set and a raccoon roof to go climb on uh, I'm happy to report that my shielding for the raccoon up here was actually successful. The raccoon has not been coming and going out of there. The newspaper's stuff is still in place. The soffit stuff was still in place. So I just did a quick little kind of fix here and put a couple of screws up into this the soffit's all mangled from the raccoon there's no straightening that at this point but um i figure if i plugged a few more screws in here he's 
not going to be able to even crawl up under the soffit between because that's what I think he did. I think he pulled out a little bit of the soffit at the bottom there and then crawled up because this was all like pulled down like this, like it was weighed down. So I think he tried to like go past my shielding and uh, and just got stuck here and then probably left. But my shielding worked. Um, which is good. So this is a job done. Um, we gotta go set a skunk trap on the north side, stop at the duplex for an iron. And what else? I should go walk Sid. Haven't walked Sid since Tuesday. Yeah. So onward. Oh, it's okay. It's okay, doggy. So we're at the skunk house now. Just getting my trap ready. The client saw the skunk last night in the yard and go under her shed. So we'll probably be catching a skunk in the next day or so, which is good news for me because I have a client, another client, waiting to buy my stinky skunk tarp once it has one more good new spray on there so I'm happy about that any money I can make in just about any way I can make it with my business I am happy to do so so those folks who want skunk art from the animal I can uh, give you that on canvas oh, all right and it's art with the perfume. <laughs> 344, that is the place. Is this the door? For entry, I don't know. Let's see. All right. backyard at the shed hello hi how are you good 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 um yeah it's just under well when i saw it last night it went underneath the w shed went under the shed yeah um by the door so all right yeah. cool i'll set a trap and then just give me a call when the animal's in there okay okay This isn't a bad place for a skunk. All right, we'll set the trap there and maybe have a skunk come morning. It's good, good news. Okay, on to walk Sid. What are you getting at, huh? Yeah, pretty crazy. Even in this, you know, wide open, sublime environment, it still feels today like the world is closing in on me, you know, because of that psychological bomb of learning that I had another, an unexpected large financial pressure. Um, and legal issues that I have to deal with. I'm not one who likes to go through those legal processes. Hey, I guess, I mean, probably very few people do like that, but 
at all costs, typically I'll avoid that. I mean, I have had situations in my life, like when I was um, terminated from Redco College, for instance, and I had a recording that the students collected for me of the new president of the college talking to them in a classroom and you know and telling them in Blackfoot um, you know the racial basis on which he decided to get rid of me <laughs> so there are times when I could have sued the heck out of uh, people or organizations but I would never bother because to me the any financial reward is not worth the the psychological hell of uh, being in a, in a situation that's contentious and litigious you know I just don't want anything to do with that and in this case I don't see a way around that because um, my solutions my options are very limited you know I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let go of that house one by by one hook or crook I, I'm gonna try everything I can not to let go of that house because I don't think even selling it and whatever that I will be financed for another house I don't know for a while because you know my uh, well my credit scores might be all right the uh, the weight debt that I'm already carrying is crazy and you know typically people don't let you borrow to to uh, cover for borrowing you know so I don't know what I'm gonna do but my debt at least is not secured right so they can't nobody can force a sale of my house I don't think on my debt but they can on Mahoney's so you know if it comes to I mean it's, we're already halfway through July we're gonna be in August pretty soon it's gonna be winter and that's my slow season I'm not gonna even have the money that I have now which is which is not enough even now but if it comes to a point where you know I have to decide what to pay and what not to pay I'm gonna have to not pay my credit cards and pay hers because hers is the one secured on the house it's right fucked I gotta figure out a way to, to make it have a, have a judge make her make some kind of payments you know even like I don't know I don't want to say even 50% but if I had a if I had a three hundred dollar bill every month and not a seven hundred dollar bill, um, <laughs> that would make a quite a difference. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I should be on the hook for any of it. There's a hawk out there getting chased by a few small nesting birds. <laughs> mobbed as they call it yeah I'm, I'm hoping that once I have a path a defined path that'll give me some mental release but in, until then I'm, I'm not doing good you know my mind is not in a good place I don't like it I should be I should be right celebrating enjoying a new leaf and so should she wherever she moved to but I carry my debt with me she should carry hers with her you know kind of hustling our way back to the truck now because both because Sid likes to hustle on the way back <laughs> and because I have another snake call 
and I don't believe this one is going to be a rattlesnake either although that's what it's being reported as it's here on the north side in a neighborhood that's routinely visited by bull snakes and the snake went into a bush and um, that's the kind of thing a bull snake might do so I'm guessing we're gonna load up and find ourselves a bull snake at this address but who knows then we gotta take a sit home release the snake stop at the uh, duplex for a moment and head her back to the west side yeah um, just got a message also from my landlord at the duplex wanting to do a kind of a walkthrough to see what repairs are needed on uh, Sunday or Monday which you know I'm still kind of just moving my stuff out of there I haven't even cleaned yet so sounds like I'm gonna have to spend the next couple of days you know giving that place some attention so that um, it's in a, a decent condition for them to walk through and see what needs to be seen and, and uh, discuss what because I plan to do some repairs there myself anyway particularly the baseboards the dogs the puppy chewed and dogs might pee on you know I'm gonna rip those baseboards out and put in new baseboards um, replace a screen that kind of thing you know but there are issues that they'll need to fix there's an electrical short in uh, one of the wall sockets in one of the bedrooms that uh, I'll leave for them there's a, a bit of a water pressure issue like the pressure certainly isn't as high there as it was when I started renting so there's something in the plumbing that has to be dealt with but it's not really a big issue I mean the water works fine it's just not high pressure <laughs> uh, that kind of thing anyway getting on with it let's go see the snake Hello. Hello. There's a snake in the bush. We got a snack. Mm -hmm. At first we thought a bull snake and then it made noise and we just want to make sure and oh, not yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. mess with things. Yeah, it was more of a hissing. Yeah, so we're wondering maybe it was the hissing. Okay. It was coming out a few minutes ago a little bit. But oh yeah. Yeah, those bull, those bull snakes kind of mimic rattlesnakes too. So could be either, you know. Yeah. They'll do some hissing and stuff. More on this side right here. And yet, no, he's no way he's not. What is that, a heat sensor? No, it's a video recorder. He might have pulled a Houdini, huh? Oh. And he was trying to come out and then he went back in. <laughs> no, I, th I would think he would have, I would have seen him scurry around us, you know, so far with... No, well, I mean, I've been sitting here watching the woods the whole time. Oh, I know, but... Yeah, because as soon as we moved the bush, it made he was noise. He was hissing and stuff. Yeah, he's probably a probably an anger bull snake. 
but. Is it in the middle? But then I'm wondering where he went. What are you going for a garage? No. What are you going for a garage? Well, no. lights. I don't know. We've been sitting oh, yeah, here. that's true. You guys have been over there. I mean, we, we yeah, haven't we seen it. They, they don't move that fast. away. We were scared of away if they <laughs> came into the garage. They would have been scared of the garage. I don't, I don't see any holes or anything. Oh. Well, that's what I was wondering if there might be a... Sit here. I'm going to sit here. Because my other daughter seen in that same bush. Did, oh, yeah? When was that? In the springtime? It's been probably a year. Oh, it's been a year. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> Is there a chance that he could have a den somewhere underneath? Yeah. If, he, if there was a rodent hole going under, but I don't... Can't see it. I'm not seeing or feeling any. So... I think I think he's pulled a Houdini. <laughs> that's crazy because we were watching it the entire time. Right here. Obviously. Yeah, that's wild. Um, if there is a bull snake, do you just like let it just be and just let it go back? Well, I'll bring it. I'll bring it down into the wilderness park or whatever. Yeah. You know, it all all the snakes they they get released. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess the big thing is, is it still worth a phone call if we notice one in our yard, or do you just let him? Well, it's not. It's not going to hurt anybody for him to for a bull snake. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it's up to you. I mean, the city's happy to move them if you are uncomfortable. Like some people, it's just snakes in general. They they're not going to have. Yeah. Don't want. I don't care if it's venomous or non-venomous. Totally. <laughs> you know. Huh. I don't know how it could slither out of there. I hope you see it. That's pretty crazy. Do you, do you want in the backyard? When he's checked the bush, pretty darn good. Yeah, I, I really thoroughly checked that because, bush. Because, yeah, when you move around like that, it would do something, right? Yeah. Make some noise. Oh, yeah, for sure. Or, yeah. Yeah, I would have seen it. Even if it was a small, small snake, and I should have seen it. It was probably a yeah, good size snake. It was over three feet for sure. It might have been four feet. Well, it was right beside my cat. <laughs> but, do you want me to open the back? Yeah, let's look and let's just peek back there in case. That almost gives me more of the willies. <laughs> now I know where he is. I'm going yeah. back there. Hey, kiddo. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. See? Yeah, so it's just right on this edge if you want to. Oh, okay. Now that I'm... But we could also, I'm sure Babbitt would be okay with us going in his yard too if you want in his. Snakes often do. Elbow. There's my elbow. It's time for you to go back to being a ground squirrel. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. Climb in the tube. Whoop. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I know. You're feeling much better. There, look, you got a big broccoli. I'm going to take you to the Heritage Heights Gopher Colony. Yeah, he's getting bitey now. He's all healthy little man now. Time to head out. Well, I don't even know if he's a guy or a girl. I just call him a, just call him a guy. I've been calling him a guy since I picked him up, but I've never really checked. Yeah, I'll miss you, Elbow. It was fun. I'm glad you healed. So, yeah, I just stopped off here at the uh, duplex to grab that iron that the girls wanted. And I figured I might as well take Elbow. 
and bring him to Heritage with me and introduce him to the colony there so I can see ground squirrels out there and think, hey, maybe one of these is elbow. But here's how conditions look in this place after moving out. I gotta do, this is where the bird cage was. It's got some crap and I gotta do some cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, some more cleaning, painting in the, in here. I've got like, after the marathon that's been at Mahoney's house, I think this is just gonna be easy peasy, you know, to uh, clean up. I think the worst thing is gonna be these baseboards. See how warped and messed up they are they gotta come out hey eaten yeah pea stains they gotta come out but other than that the house is in pretty good shape so that's what i got on the agenda the next couple of days let's go back to the west side and let go of elbow Quite the view in my backyard again. Now that I'm living back in this neighborhood, there used to be a lot of ground squirrels up here. I don't know if the bull stakes cleared them out or or what. But elbow, I have found you one of the old ground squirrel holes that you can occupy and I'll put your broccoli right there beside it because you love broccoli come on out let's check out the world come on out elbow yeah, let's check out the world I know it's scary. It's almost better, I think, dropping him off here where there's not a bunch of other squirrels. Because I was worried he was going to get beat up. Are you afraid to leave? Gonna run away. <laughs> Sticking right low to the ground, just right on his belly. I think he's just going to shuffle off and find his own place. There's not a good hole over there that I saw. Hey, elbow. Let me lead you back to the hole. You should find the hole. So at least you got one hole to go down. Yeah. There 
are a couple of holes out this way. There you go. No, nope. you just passed it. Just passed it. Well, you're just passing it. It's right there. Oh. Back that way. It's like, nope. I'm going over here. That's not even the way to the hole. <laughs> I want you to find the hole. Come on. Let's go find the hole. Let's find the hole. It's this way. This way more. Come on. A little bit more. <laughs> there you go. There's the hole. Go check it out. There you go. Check it out. Right on. <laughs> Howdy. Alright, now I'm happy. He's got one secure place to be. Hard to walk away. But gotta trust he'll be okay now. He's got a house. He's got his broccoli for the night. We're all good. Guess I'll head her home. So I imagine there's probably gonna be another rattlesnake call or two this evening. Feels snaky to me, but we'll see. If not, this might be the end of my video for today. Enough of that. Enough of the update. <laughs>